a very British scandal will dive into the chaotic relationship of the Duke and Duchess of Argyle. But where was the BBC One drama filmed? A very British scandal is a three-part series on the rapid downfall of the Duke and Duchess of Argyle's marriage in the 1960s. Their divorce became a very public spectacle that is going to be the central focus of the drama which starts on Boxing Day on BBC One. Express.co.uk has everything you need to know about the main filming location of A Very British Scandal. The divorce of the royal couple Ian Campbell, played by Paul Bettany, and Margaret, Claire Foy, better known as the Duke and Duchess of Argyle was one of the most notorious divorces of the 20th century. From accusations of theft, bribery and violence to leaked sexual photographs, their breakup became the center of a media storm. The split began in 1963, when the Duke accused his wife of cheating on him with more than 80 other men. It was later revealed that many of the men were homosexuals so Margaret didn't deny the claims as it was still a criminal offense to be gay in the 1960s. Where's Inveraray Castle? Filming mostly took place at Inveraray Castle which sits on the edge of Loch Fyne in the Scottish Highlands. In the series, Ian inherits the stunning Gothic building early on in episode 1. He and Margaret soon start making it into their marital home, but as the years go on, their love for one another dwindles within its walls. The real Duke and Duchess of Argyle lived at Inveraray Castle, making a very British scandal even more authentic. Can you visit? Yes, Inveraray Castle is open to visitors with tours around the interior of the castle including the dining room, bedrooms, history room and its famous weapon room. You are also able to go up the 176 steps to the top of the tower, where you will see views over in Veraray and Loch Fine to the Aratur Alps. Entry into the castle and gardens for adults cost £14.50 and, and for children between the ages of 5 and 15 it is £10.50. And for both adults and children, the price of visiting the gardens only is £7. Currently, though, the castle is now closed to visitors and will be until the new year. Inverary Castle is going to reopen its doors on March 28, 2022, and will remain open until October 31, welcoming guests between the times of 10 a.m. 5 p.m. However, the estate is generally open to walkers all year round with the castle car park available for a fee of £4.50. If the car park is closed though, there is another just a 10-minute walk away from the castle. Inverary Castle is now home to the Duke's grandson Torquil and his wife Eleanor. As there are still people living on the estate, this is probably why the building isn't open every day of the year. Downton Abbey fans may also recognize the castle as it appeared as Donegal Castle where the Crawley family spent Christmas 